Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Mandate Mondays! Really? Will you let them finish? I know. Well, we're, we're doing Whistle Pig. Yep. Again? No, not again. What, what do we got here? <laughs> Look at this magical bottle. Bo Look at this trickery. Green screens? Magic? What kind of world is this that we live in? We are in a very lucky and unique position. The fantastic folks at the Whistle Pig Farm up in Shoreham, Vermont, uh, had sent us a bottle it's of... A farm? It, it is a farm. Oh. That's what they were, Mark was going to steal a pig. Had is it made from pigs? It's not made from pigs. Had sent us, after seeing our review of their 10 year, a bottle of their 12 year old world. And we're very, very excited to try this. So thank you very much for sharing this with us. So for those of you keeping count, that's two years better. When we, when we did the review for this, I was I remember being very, very surprised at how awesome this tasted. Now, again, this is 100 proof and also 100% rye. Now, we're actually done with, we're, we're stepping back a little bit here. This is actually at 90 proof, so this is a 45% alcohol. More alcohol doesn't mean better taste. You can buy a bottle of rubbing alcohol for a buck. Delicious. The Whistle Pig Old World is a 12 year. This is also done in the same uh, double barrel process that they've patented. Triple? No, but there's it, they are finished. So they do their double barrel process, but then this is also finished. And by here, it's 63% the Madeira cask, 30% the Sauterns cask. It's so, uh, well, yeah, depending on how you say it. It's Sauterns. Yeah, yeah. French gets weird. And then finally, of course, 7% the port. The port kid. Down at the port. The f***ing <laughs> port down the harbor. Down in f***ing Quincy. <laughs> so finished off in these three different casks. We did things a little differently this time uh, because we got chewed out completely on Reddit. They gave us a couple of good ideas, which is to actually try this out well before the, uh, the, the episode we filmed and just kind of write down and remember the things that we taste independently. So what do you say we actually give this a try? Okay. So, the Whistle Pig Old World. Just right after pouring this, you can already start to just smell it coming out of the glass here. Now, when I smell that, I smell a lot of spice. From what I remember, there's a lot, and for some reason, I actually smell almost black licorice. I don't know. You don't smell any licorice? <clears throat> no. I'm smelling a lot of spice, even pepper almost. I want to say cinnamon, but I bet I don't. Now, when you start smelling it, it's not, it, it, it's definitely very sharp, but it's not sharp because of the alcohol. I don't, I don't know how to exactly explain it. There's, it's bold. This isn't a tobacco commercial. I mean, the thing is, you drink whiskey, you don't smell it. So, drink, smell is all part of the taste. Why don't we drink it? Hey, cheers. So, at 90%, I would have expected a lot of burn. Not a ton of burn. It's still, it's still burn. There's, there's, a, there's definitely a punch to it, but still surprisingly smooth yeah. and a good sweetness. Now, it's I mean, good, it's a good burn. It's like when you put a cigarette out on here. I believe that means you need help. Yeah. You don't taste the amount of sweetness you would have expected from the spell, but the sugar is definitely there. I'm tasting vanilla, you know, in, in, in definitely honey in this. So you are getting a lot of sweetness with this. Now, I'm almost getting a bit of like a nutty woody taste to it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I want to say nutmeg, but I, I'm not. No, yeah. not not nutmeg, but almost like almonds in a way that I'm tasting that are coming out of this. Either way, it's it's a good combination of flavors. Again, I don't have the palate to really point it out, but it's it it, it comes together very well in the palate. And even after finishing and just having it breathe out through my nose, it's it's a nice warming flavor. No, it's rough yet elegant. As these are, are, are put through the different casts, there are, there are sherry influences and whatnot according to the distiller. I'm not picking up the sherry as much as I would. I mean, well, why I'll would it be a sherry? There's no sherry cask. What, like, was there a sherry cask, like, saying, hey, good job? <laughs> it's right here. Madeira, Sauternes, Madeira. Thank you. Tyler Perry presents this, apparently. Tyler Perry's presenting the Madeira cask. <laughs> I'm sorry I went there. Whistle Pig, please do not hate us because we are obsessed with your rise. These are absolutely fantastic. I mean, both of them are very flavorful. Did a little digging online about the Whistle Pig Old World. A few folks had actually mentioned that this is fantastic in creating like a very unique Manhattan, but to be honest, I feel like it's an absolute crime no. to mix this in anything. You don't do that. You can, but you don't. So the Whistle Pig 12 Year Old World, 
absolutely delicious. You can find this retailing for $7.50, just over hundred bucks. I, I mean, I think it's delicious. I definitely recommend picking this up. And this is something that I would definitely buy. What do you think? Yeah. So I want to throw out a quick special thanks to a few guys on Reddit, Slender Rosu and Socks the Fox. They gave us a few suggestions on how to handle some of our tastes. And so thank you very much for those suggestions. I'm not, I'm not going to thank you. And a huge thanks to the folks at Whistle Pig Farm for sending us this delicious 12 year rye. Again, absolutely fantastic. You definitely need to try this uh, fantastic American rye whiskey. And I, I will thank them too. So again, thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel below so we can pay our bills. Yay. I know, Bill's getting kind of tired of not getting paid for doing the camera work. Bill's getting very upset. Bill, you like us, right? And then there's lighting bill and sound bill. We gotta pay the bills. <laughs> How many people you think work in this show? A lot of people named Bill for some reason.